gonna do another day in the life video today because I did get some positive feedback about you guys liking these vlogs. So I just have to run some errands this morning. I'm just gonna pop over to this post office to pick up a parcel. It's kind of far away from where I live, so it's a bit of a drive. And then I will probably get some groceries for some stuff to eat later. And I actually really wanna to go to H&M Home because I love H&M Home. They have such nice homewares for an affordable price, but I think the only one in Brisbane is the one in Brisbane City, which is kind of annoying to get to by car so I'm gonna investigate if there's another one and see when I'm out picking up my package but other than that I don't think I'm gonna get a coffee out today so I'll make a Biscoff cold brew here at home which I'm excited for and yeah I hope you guys enjoy this vlog oh and I also thought I'd start this new series called shop my apartment so it's kind of like an apartment tour but I think I'm just gonna focus on one room individually so today I'll do the kitchen and the bar cart and I'll just show you more in detail where I got everything from and how I decided to style that room. So I hope you guys like that idea because each week I'll do a different room. And yeah, let me know if you have any questions. I just picked up my parcel. I don't know why I spend my life chasing parcels, I swear, that have been sent with couriers. Does anyone else have this problem? Like, they just get taken to these really random, far away locations and I can never seem to get a hold of them. But I'm glad I have this one now. It's for an upcoming collaboration that I'll be filming soon on my TikTok and Instagram. So yeah, I'm excited about that. And I think I'll just head to the shops now. I'm gonna go to like a bigger shopping center and see if they have H&M Home there. And if not, then I might just look around for some clothes and also get the groceries there but I will see you soon it's like Thomas A. Edison the inventor of the phonograph has never before permitted his voice to be recorded for the public So I'll show you what I bought. Look at these flowers. I just couldn't resist them. They're so bright. So I can't wait to put those in a cute little vase. I'm just randomly craving tiramisu right now. So I'm going to make that later. And then I also got some sushi to eat now. So yeah, let's just have that and I'll show you what I got. <laughs> I love Kit Kats and I'm obsessed with these cute little bunny ones. And why does Easter chocolate always just taste so much better? These are also amazing. They're probably my favorite type of chocolate. Having these with like a cup of tea in the evening is just too good. So I got these for the tiramisu. I'm just gonna make like a couple of individual little servings and I'm also gonna add some vanilla bean to the cream. <laughs> For some reason, eating sushi cut up like this just makes it taste like I'm at a sushi train or something. But yeah, this is my first meal of the day and I'm so happy about it.
that was my first time making that. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. It's just going to set in the fridge for a little while, but each component tastes really good. So I'm sure it will be nice. I also didn't use any alcohol because I'm not the biggest fan of alcohol in desserts. So I just did the coffee. Anyway, let's clean this up and then I'll do a little tour of my kitchen and bar cart and go through where everything's from. Okay guys, I thought I'd just do a voiceover for this section so you can actually see what I'm talking about. I just wanna give like a little tour of my kitchen and bar cabinet and tell you where I got everything from. I think it's important when you're designing a space to not really focus on things being so matchy matchy because then you kind of lean into things looking a little bit cheap and tacky. I really love when you just have things that are sort of similar tones and materials, but they don't really match at all. So you wouldn't think to put them together, but they somehow look very cohesive when they're in the same room. When you first move into a place I know that feeling of just wanting everything to be finished and furnished and you kind of just rush into buying things because you want the space to be filled but I feel like this is such a mistake because you end up spending more money in the long run buying things that you actually wanted in the first place so I would suggest just taking your time and buying quality pieces that you really love <laughs> Okay, so let's start with this sink area. I've already spoken about this soap in one of my previous videos and this is not sponsored at all. They didn't send me these products or anything. I just really love the smell of them. And I think they look really cute for the price that they are. They're not like too expensive. They're just a mid range, nice hand soap that you can have on your counter. I also recently found out that you can buy this same soap in this nice glass bottle, which I just thought was so much more bougie. So that's the one that I'll probably be using after the other one runs out. And then the other container on the right is a dishwashing liquid container from Ikea and I just love having this on the bench because I feel like it's really easy to pump out some soap whenever you just want to wash a quick few dishes. So another thing that I just wanted to mention in this sink area is this little addition that I've put on my kitchen tap. Since I'm renting I didn't get to choose any of the fixtures that are in this apartment so this little addition has just been so handy because it allows you to change the water flow coming out of your tap and you can also fully maneuver the head of the tap around allowing you to rinse out your sink properly which I just find so helpful. The attachment was from Bunnings and it was quite cheap. It was only about $15 or something. So if I can find the exact model, I'll link it in the description. <laughs> Okay, so now moving on to one of my favorite areas in this kitchen. You probably see me film here a lot just because I feel like it has such a great ambience because of the lamps. So when I first moved into the apartment, I didn't really have any idea what I was going to put in this area, but behind that black butterfly frame is a PowerPoint. And my biggest motivation was just to cover that PowerPoint because I thought it was ugly. <laughs> So I did put the butterfly frame there as you see and then I just put the cookbook in front of that frame and I actually just liked the way that it looked so it ended up sticking. 
And then eventually I got this brass lamp with the marble base and I was so obsessed with this lamp. I just wanted it to be like a focal point of my kitchen because I thought it was so beautiful. So I ended up just putting it in front of the frame and just hiding the cords behind the frame when I plugged the lamp in and I just loved how this looked. So the brand of the lamp is Cave Home, but I have seen many similar alternatives around at a lot of different homeware places. So if I can find this exact one or like a replica of this lamp, I will also link that for you. Okay, so these little brass bowls that I've got sitting on top of this lamp, I'm so obsessed with. I got them recently for Christmas and they're from Country Road. I wasn't really sure exactly what I wanted to do with them, but I just thought they were so striking and eye-catching. So I ended up putting them on top of this lamp and I just thought it matched really well with the other brass components of the lamp. Most of the time they're empty, but sometimes I do put like cute little knickknacks in them, like Easter eggs or lemons and limes, just whatever I have around. So another piece that I'm just in love with in this area is this vase from Fenton and Fenton with the purple and orange colors. I have a few pieces from Fenton and Fenton with similar tones throughout my apartment. So I feel like it just all kind of ties together nicely. And this vase actually suits so many different flower arrangements. You would think that it would be limiting with the colors, but it just honestly looks so interesting and unique, which leads me to this other piece of art on the wall that I got sort of recently. And it was from an artist that I found on TikTok and I was so obsessed with her work when I saw it. I just feel like she has such beautiful colors that just fit perfectly in my apartment with everything else that I have. Someone commented on my Instagram saying, why do you have so many sad girl prints around your apartment? And I didn't realize that that's what I was going for, but I'm honestly so in love with this one. The girl in the print just looks so deep in thought. Her hair looks amazing and all of the colors are just so perfect in my opinion. So yeah, that's basically everything in this area. But I also just wanted to mention that this is how I dry up my dishes most days. I'll just put them directly onto this mat from Ikea, which I love because it's actually really good quality. And I love how it's just a neutral color. I've had ones from Dezo in the past which are also really good but they are a little bit smaller and they have like kind of crazy patterns on them so if that's your vibe then maybe go to Dezo because they're really cheap from there and also from Ikea. I do like this method better than putting all of the dishes onto like a huge dish rack just because I don't really have much space and I feel like this looks less cluttered. I can't forget to talk about one of my favorite things in this kitchen, which is the colored globes that I have in these lamps. Lighting is one of those things that I think is so important in your space and these colored globes have definitely helped in creating a really unique vibe. The brand is LIFX and you can just control the color of each lamp individually using an app on your phone. They are on the more expensive side. I know you can get cheaper ones elsewhere, but but these ones are just really great quality and I've never had any issues with them. Another little tip that I learned was put your toaster on a tray and just put it away when you're finished using it. This really helps in just minimizing mess and clutter whenever you're making toast. And I love it so much because my toaster is too big to just keep out on the bench all the time. So I just have this tray that has handles on it. It's really easy to just take in and out. So as I said before, I am in a rental, so I didn't choose any of the appliances that I have in this apartment, but they're all this Beko or Beko brand. I'm not sure how you say it. And I haven't really had any problems with them. They've all been great. So now I'll move on to where I've got this cute little coffee corner in my kitchen. This is the Nespresso City Z pod machine, I think it's called. And I'll try and link the exact one in the description. I haven't had any problems with it. It's been really good as like a starter pod machine. And then this stainless steel appliance next to it is my Breville milk frother. And this one has been amazing. I honestly use it for so many things like hot chocolate, matcha, just plain milk. You can do a cool froth or also it heats up to about 70 or 80 degrees. And then next to these two appliances, I have all my chopping boards and I know this Amount is probably excessive. So the really large boards are for cheese platters when people come over and then all of the smaller ones are just for chopping up random fruits and vegetables. The one board that I get so many questions about is this cute little heart shaped wooden board. And I don't know where it's from because it was a gift, but I can try and find something really similar for you. It doesn't have any brand or anything written on it. So I can't actually figure out where it's from. I'm so sorry, but I don't really use this to chop up anything on because I want to keep it in good condition. So this is just usually what I'll put all of my matcha things on when I'm making a drink or just to look pretty when I'm filming. The main chopping board that I use every single day though is this one from Epicurean. This is really my favorite chopping board that I've ever had. It's such good quality. It's very thin, so it's easy to move around because it's nice and light, but I never see any bending or splitting in the wood. One of my favorite things that I own is this pink Le Creuset pot. It was a gift to me. I know they're really expensive and probably overpriced, but you can get cheaper alternatives at so many different places now. This pot is made from enamel coated cast iron, which means 
means that it really holds the heat well when you're cooking and I actually find it to be really non-stick as well. But even when I'm not using it, I obviously just love to keep it on my stove top because I feel like it looks so beautiful. I've also customized this pot a little bit because I've changed the knob on the top to like a rose gold copper colored one instead of the stainless steel one it came with. <laughs> So next to my stovetop, I have a few new additions that I kind of just rotate in and out. I just wanted a cute spoon to put my cooking utensils on while I'm using them. And this one is from Italy, but I'll try and find something similar to link for you. And then obviously I've got them on another love heart board and this one's marble this time. I just thought it was so cute and it really fit into this style of my kitchen. I believe this one is from Etsy and I've also seen a few similar ones on Amazon. You guys know I love mushroom candles and lamps and this lamp is the one from Kmart. I'm honestly so impressed with the quality of this lamp like it was so cheap and I feel like it just looks really expensive and amazing. I think having lamps on your kitchen counter is just really important because I often like cooking in ambient lighting instead of having harsh overhead lights on. The other appliances that I have over in this corner are kind of matching with their gunmetal gray color. This is a Breville kettle and I just love Breville appliances. I feel like they're such good quality and you're not just paying for the brand name like you are with other appliances like Smeg. I'll often just have random things sitting in this corner like the citrus fruits in this cute little bowl. The bowls and this tray are from the brand Ecology and I just love this brand so much. They have really interesting and cute homewares. So in this apartment, I do have a lot of drawer storage in the kitchen, which I don't mind because I feel like it's quite easy to open up these large drawers and kind of see what you have in there and access everything. So I won't show you all of the drawers, but I'll just show you the ones that I'm actually a little bit proud of. So on the top here, I have my tea towel drawer and I also keep all of my microfiber cloths in here. It is a very shallow drawer, so it's kind of hard to organize, but I try to fold them in a way where I can see everything that I have in the drawer and I can just pick out whatever color I'm feeling that day. And then the drawer below that is my tea and coffee drawer. So this one is not really well organized, but I feel like it looks okay to me. <laughs> These little wooden holders that I have all of my Nespresso pods in and the tea bags, I love them so much. They're from H&M Home. On the other side in the top drawer, I have all of my spices and salt and pepper. I really love having these close to the stove top because I feel like it's easy to access when you're cooking. So I'm not really a person that keeps all of this in the pantry. I just like having it all laying down like this. So now let's move on to the bar cabinet. And this is one of my prized possessions because I just love all of the glassware that's inside it. I'm a big drinks and cocktail person. Like I love having three drinks on the go. I love trying new cocktails and new spirits. So that was definitely motivation for me to build a drinks cabinet like this with all this unique glassware. And this is just something that has evolved over time. Obviously I didn't start out with a collection like this. And the main reason I wanted a bar cabinet instead of a bar cart was I really liked the idea idea of nothing getting dusty inside. So this cabinet is from Ikea. It's quite basic and it's been really good for the price that it was. I think you can also buy this in different colors and you can also buy another variant that has like LED light strips built into the shelves, which is really cool. So when I first got this, I knew that I wanted to put a piece of art on top or just a certain print that had something to do with drinking and alcohol. So I got this vintage Italian Campari print because I just loved the green tones in it, which I thought would look nice with all of the plants that I had around my apartment. And then around the print I've obviously just built up all of these random little accessories which are mainly candles and candle holders. You can see the really colorful candle holders in the middle are from Fenton and Fenton and they match that interesting vase that I had in the kitchen and then the brass candle holders I just thought was so interesting as well. I love these ones they're from Black Blaze. On the other side I've got this nice big tray from Ecology that I've got more candles sitting on so you see that other mushroom candle that's now a vase that's from my favorite candle place called LH Candles so I've just put some dried flowers in the top and then the really bright purple candle is from Kip & Co. And the plant that I've got next to the bar cabinet is a Monstera. I have two of these in my apartment. The other one you've probably seen is near my TV, which is absolutely huge now. These are one of my favorite indoor plants because I feel like they're quite low maintenance and I just love the look of the huge leaves. So to keep them healthy, I'll often wipe down the leaves just to make sure there's no dust or grime on it. And then I'll water them once a week. But I feel like bar cabinets and carts are so easy to kind of customize to your own personal style and they really just elevate any space.
tour of my kitchen and my bar cart, but just comment anything down below that I forgot to mention or that you want to know about specifically. It's hard to say how you come up with a particular style or you find your own personal style. I think over the years it just develops and then you figure out exactly what you like and what you don't like because I look back on things years ago that I've bought and I'm like, why did I buy that? But anyway, now it's sort of coming together, but I'm sure in a couple of years I'll be sick of some of these things and then I'll move on to something else. So it's just ever changing and evolving and I kind of love that as well. But definitely my favorite style that I draw a lot of inspiration from is mid-century modern. So on Pinterest, I'll just search different interior styles that I like, like mid-century modern, and then it will come up with suggestions and I'll just sort of scroll through, see what I like. And then as you pin things you like, you'll be obviously suggested more things that you might like. And I just find so many ideas like that. But yeah, next week I'll do a different room of the house. So I will probably do my bedroom and ensuite area. And yeah, let me know if there's anything that you really want me to talk about. But it's actually kind of late in the day now. So that did take some time and I'm just going to sit down and chill out for a bit and, and then probably have some homemade burgers for dinner. But before I go and I leave this vlog, I am going to see how the tiramisu is setting in the fridge and obviously try it. I know it's a little bit random in these containers, but I just thought it would be cute, even though it kind of got a little bit messy. This smells so good though. It's so good. But thank you so much for watching. I love you all and I hope you have an amazing weekend. Thank you.